We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Elgin, Illinois, and we get to visit with the head coach of the Judson Eagles, Coach Quentin Demps, in his second season with the program. Coach, let's start there. Fourth season overall for the program, your second season as the lead man. Tell us a little bit about that as as you have one season now in the books. What's your what's your takeaway from year one? Yeah, first of all, just just very, very grateful, you know, just, uh, just very grateful, man, to be able to lead these this group of young men, uh, lead my staff, man. And I'm uh, just grateful for the administration for believing in me. And uh, man, to me, yeah, year one was just a learning curve, man. The year it was about it was about learning and for me, myself, the team, my staff. Everybody was just learning how to be one together. You know, I know I was learning how to be a head coach, learning how to, you know, uh, meet with the administration, learning how to, uh, you know, manage a budget and uh, also try to win some football games, man. So I'm just glad that's under my belt now. I feel like, a, you know, I feel more more relaxed now. I feel more, you know, more experienced already. And so I'm excited about year two, man, and I'm uh, just, just very, very grateful. Coach, with that in mind, I mean, obviously you've been around the program some, but you were announced as the, the lead man yeah. in January of 2023. So the turnaround to signing day in that first Wednesday of, of February, it's not a lot of time. Yeah. You had a little bit more time now heading into signing day for 2024. Tell us a little bit about your recruiting class. Yeah, yeah well, recruit, recruiting is definitely a strength of ours here at Judson. Uh, I love to recruit as a head coach. I love it. I, I just love the fact that I get to know these young men build a relationship with them and, um, you know, help them become better. And so that's something that we really, we really highlight um, as a staff um, because I, you know, something that's important to me and uh, man, I think this year's class is going to be our best class yet. We hadn't had many classes, but I think this 2024 class, man, is going to be a really, really good class for us. We brought some really, really good guys in the 2023, man, some guys who are, are staples for the, for the, for the, for the culture, some guys who are leaders for us. And so, just adding this class on top of that, man, it's going to be going to be amazing for us. We're building for sure. Did you all get to have a spring game this year? How how the spring yeah. practices go? So we had, we had I've had two spring grade two spring games as a head coach, man. They both have been terrible weather, but we have we have managed to get through it, man. I'm so proud of my guys. Oh man, these guys are mentally strong, mentally tough, man. And so, uh, but the spring game was it went, it went well this year too, as well. Yeah, it went pretty good. Coach, let's let's look ahead then to the fall. Not that far away now, and uh, offensive on the offensive side of the ball, you have at least one returner coming back. I know you have a few more, but uh, Grant Alexander, wide receiver for you, was well, the team's leading scorer last year as well, an All Conference performer. He's one of those that'll return for you. Tell us a little bit about your offense. Yeah, so we we're excited to have Grant back. Uh, he's definitely going to be a leader for us. Uh, we got some guys on the O line who we're excited to have back as well. Um, you know, just in just the, I mean, the, the main thing is just us having the staple, having us a, 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 a OC, a full time OC. Last year we had a little mishap where OC resigned middle of the season, which was tough for us to you know um, overcome. But this year, man, we're going into it with two 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 coordinators, and I'm, I'm confident in these guys, and these guys are going to put it together, be organized, and they won't quit on us. And so, uh, we're excited about that. It's really important. I mean, you, yeah, you've got to have that. I mean, record what it was, and, and last year 0-9 for the season. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure that uh, when people look at that, they see that final number. They don't know. That's some adversity that the team had to go through. Yeah, it's, it's no excuse on, the, on, our, on our part. You know, things happen. we got to adapt and, and you know, uh, keep pressing on. But it, like you said, man, it was, it was some adversity that we dealt with that was pretty tough for the guys, man. More so on the guys than on the staff, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's tough to, to have a coach leave midseason. You know what I mean, and, and still come out and play and, and you know have fun. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about that, man. Just having coaches who are going to be here for the long haul, having these guys, you know, one voice, one sound, and having these guys come out man, and compete. We're visiting now with Quentin Demps here on Midwest Sports Net, and I encourage you please subscribe to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond, and we're talking about the Judson Eagles right now. On the defensive side of the ball, Jay Callantine, a linebacker for you. He was the leading tackler for your team. He, he's returning, so uh, another strong returnee there, another all-conference performer for you. Tell us about the defense. Yeah, we we we, we love we love Jay Cali, man. He is a uh, he has a motor. This guy this guy practices like a pro. He 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 is definitely a leader for us, and so uh, he's going to be a big part of our defense going into this year. And uh, I'll be calling the defense this year, so uh, I'm excited about that challenge. You know, um, and uh, just you know, just ready to go, man. We got some guys coming back at corner. We got Jalen Ware coming back. Played a lot of snaps for us last year. I think last year man, we started like eight freshmen. You know, which is always a battle. You know, starting freshmen, so. 
uh, this year we got some guys with some experience coming back, and uh, we're excited about it. What's it like wearing more than one cap? I mean, pardon the pun, you have a cap on now, but I mean, to get to to, to do that, and I mean, that's that's going to be a, a little bit of an extra weight there. You know, but it's, it's it's a good thing because last year I was more sort of CEO, right? Like, you know, the head coach, real head coach last year. Well, I just had, you know, input and always bringing the hammer down on the guys. But this spring, man, me being a DC, I was able to be more of a coach, like more of a, you know, teacher. It's what, you know, I just saw the guys respond to that better too. So, so for me, I think it's going to be it's gonna help us out tremendously where the guys can see Coach Q, not just the hammer, but the guy who's loving you too, man, try to teach you how to be – better football player, the fundamentals of the game, you know, and that kind of thing, man. So I'm excited about that. Relationship goes a long way. Yeah, absolutely. It absolutely does. Coach, from the special teams uh, facet of the game uh, from last season to this, uh, looked like you might be still sorting some things out. Yeah, we, well, we, found, we found a coordinator. We found a guy that we like uh, who's going to help us out this year, um, keep us organized. But, man, like like, like you said, man, we, we're, still, we're still learning. You know, small school, man, fourth year as a program playing football. So, we, we're trying to put all the pieces together, man. But this is going to be a big year for us, a big recruiting class for us. Coaching staff is kind of, you know, kind of getting there. Where we, where we're it's stable. And so we're just excited about this year, about year two, man. All right, Coach. I want to talk about something else really quickly, just to, not to to bypass football, but uh, just a, an, an additional thing. You know, you, you have a foundation, the Quentin Demps Foundation, which – it's not something every NAI football coach has that, that uh, you've founded, you've over, that you oversee as well. Tell us a little bit about what that is and what it does. Yeah, so my foundation is always something that, uh, you know, I've always given back my, my years playing in the league. Just always had a good heart, a big heart, man, and just trying to help others out. And so uh, my team and I, man, we wanted to create some, uh, some make my giving organized. And so we created a foundation uh, that's tailored to scholarships, man. School is hard. It's expensive. And so we want to do what we can, man, to help give back, help um, help students, man, um, take education very seriously, you know, and um, you know, have some help getting that get, get, getting education. And people can and people can find that online, by the way. Quentin Demps Foundation. Yeah. Just have to search the, that. The Quentin Demps Foundation com for sure. All right, there we go. Full on URL right there. So <laughs> the Quentin Demps. I like that too. You put yeah. the in front of something, it gives it that legitimacy, doesn't it? That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, the schedule starts in September, and we are almost exactly three months from opening day for you all. September 7th, these are Saturday games, uh, crossover games in the mid-state, so you get things started with two home games, as a matter yeah. of fact. September 7th, uh, you get to host Madonna on the 14th, the following weekend hosting Taylor, and then you go on the road for the first time at Defiance, a, a new member of the conference and a new member actually into the NAIA as well. Coach, tell us about the opening to your schedule. Yeah, man, opening to the schedule was definitely uh, something we look forward to. I know last year we had a really, really, really tough schedule. Um, and this year, it's still tough this year, but it's not as tough as last year. And so, uh, you know, we're still chasing that first win, you know, so we don't, it don't matter who we play, man. We're going to come into camp, get ready, get ready, <laughs> get ready to perform well, get ready to fight, man, get ready to come together as a team um, and grow, man, and build and get ready to compete, man, that first week and try to get this first win, man, uh, as, 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 my, as I reign as a head coach. All right, we're going to follow the Eagles then. So success to you all this season. Success yep. to the Judson Eagles. Coach Quentin Demps going into year two with the program. Thank you so much, sir, for taking some time with us today here on Midwest Sportsnet. Thank you, Joey. Appreciate it, man. Bless you.